So to make things a little bit tidier then, let's keep this example that we're currently using, but instead create a middleware class for this. So this is pretty much the same concept. It's gonna work in the same way, but what we're also gonna do is in the next part, look at how we might access our container when we create a class-based middleware. Now, if you think about it at the moment, we're using our container here. So this is really convenient. We have that over in app as a variable just here, but it would be better to go ahead and conveniently pass it in. So we'll cover that in a minute, but what I'll do is I'll let you think about it between this part and the next to see if you can come up with a solution. So let's go ahead and uh, since we're auto loading from app, remember we set up our PSR for auto loading and we've already looked at that for our controllers. What we're gonna do is just come over and create a new folder in here. And again, you can keep the structure to this exactly how you want. Uh, some people prefer to create some kind of HTTP directory and then middleware inside of it. Really, it's up to you. So in this case then, how do we name our middleware? Well, again, it's really up to you, but you might want to name these as what they do. So in this case, you might say redirect if unauthenticated, for example, or you might just want to call this authenticated middleware, authenticated, it's entirely up to you. So I like to call it like this because then I can look at the class and see exactly what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a class called redirect if unauthenticated. So inside of here, we just set this up as normal. So we give it our namespace. We know that this is now under middleware. So we can go ahead and define that out. The class is redirect if unauthenticated. And as it goes, it's pretty much that like that. We don't need to extend anything. We don't need to implement any interfaces here. All we need is a invoke magic method. So let's go ahead and create this out like so. And this will just be called in exactly the same way as our closure. And therefore we will get through our request. We'll get through our response. And really importantly, we'll get through our next request. So as it goes, that is pretty much the setup for a class based middleware. Now into here, we just do pretty much what we've already done. So in this case, we would take this kind of messy closure based middleware and we would go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna get rid of this from here because we need to do something slightly different there as well. Come over to here, pop that inside of there, tidy it up and we're pretty much done. Now the only thing we're not doing is accessing our router. So what I'm gonna do just for the sake of this is just come over to that login page and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the full path to this just so it works for now, uh, but we're gonna tidy that up in the next part. So I'm gonna pop that into there and we're done. So the question is then how do we reuse this middleware where we need it? Well, we basically just need to new it up. So over in Roots and Web, wherever we want to add this middleware, we very simply just say add and we create a new instance of that middleware. Now we need to pull in the namespace of course. So in here, wherever you're using it, you would have to go ahead and pull that in. And this is redirect if unauthenticated. And that is pretty much it, we're done. Now at the moment we do have a user ID set in the session. So when I refresh this, it's just gonna work as normal. Uh, but what we can do just to kind of uh, get rid of this for now is maybe come over to here go ahead and unset dollar underscore session user ID if you just wanted to quickly test this out. So if we come over to here, give that a refresh, come back over, we now are not signed in. I refresh here and I'm redirected to the login page as we would expect. So that is pretty much how simple it is to move our closure based middleware over to a class. Hopefully you'll agree this is a lot tidier now, whatever you have, you just have them in classes. You can go ahead and see exactly what they do, update them if you need to, and it just works in exactly the same way. And remember, it works in exactly the same way because uh, over in, if we just come over to Slim and over to our middleware aware trait, when we go ahead and actually call the middleware stack, remember that what we're calling is a callable thing. And if we just come over to app, we know that when we add middleware, we are creating a callable. So it just works in the same way. The invoke method will be run and we just do everything as normal. Now, uh, in between this and the next part, have a think about how we would do this a little bit better. Try and have a think about how we would access our container inside of here, because obviously what we can't do is access the container variable within here because this is just a class that's being also loaded in. 
So have a little think, but we'll move on to the next part and look at how we can improve this uh, with accessing our container inside of middleware.